forward. What's going on, even and welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Matt bringing you back to um, Ultra Street Fighter 2. Last time we played as Burra. We're gonna go ahead and play as Sagat. And these are his common outfits right here. These are uncommon. Uh, this so reminds me of Alpha 3 and CVS, but we're gonna stick with the original guys. The perps. The light blue and the uh, red. That's what we're gonna stick with. Time out. Okay, it's Tiger Knee Crushes. Sure, you can kick. Okay. Because in the original SF2s, the Tiger Knee is so different. Did you forget that Sagat? That Sagat has some of the uh, fastest fireballs in the games, uh, DJ? Oh, how did that not connect? He was in the air. Yeah. Tiger uppercut was a menace. You win. Kick me as hard as you can. You'll only break your leg. <clears throat> England. All right, Scott. Round one. <sighs> so what is this Street Fighter 2 lore? Well, Scott's basically freaking around. Trying to fight and find and fight Ryu, and he figured the only way he, he, he could enter this tournament was to was to pretty much uh pretty much uh handle Ryu through the means of working for Shadow. So canonically, he's still working for Shadow despite his run-ins with Bison manipulating him. Anyway, we just cleaned up two of the new challenges. Oh, here comes Ryu. Now, it is still unclear if canonically Ryu and Sagat fought in this tournament or not. It is still canonically unclear. But one thing I do know is that in SF2 Turbo, old Sagat, like, when you could pick uh, street, Super Street Fighter 2 versions of, of uh, characters, you could, you could pick, you know what I'm saying, old Sagat by pressing the jab button when you select them and then hit do left three times and then right and then hit the jab button again and, and he'll say tiger and turn it to uh super street fighter 2 new challenger sagat <laughs> aka old sagat <laughs> and the zoning opportunities you would have with him are freaking infinite bro just as jm cross he said he's the most also got from this from SF Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo is the most broken Street Fighter 2 character of all. It's the most broken Street Fighter character period actually he said. That that, that can be debatable. Cuz you know, Elena from Ultra to Ultra 4 was pretty broken. Yeah, give me that uppercut. Uh Elena from Ultra 4 was pretty broken, but you know, if you're good with Eevee, you, you can be her. Um Bison from Champion Edition was broken. Guile from uh SF2 is broken. Uh, Chun Li and Yoon were both are both pretty broken in third strike. But yeah. Surprisingly there's no broken he didn't say anything say, say anything about any broken characters on Alpha 3, I think. Or did he? I mean, we got missed. I don't know. Give me that perfect E Honda. And he still got that old school laugh. I won't be satisfied until I bear the title of world's strongest again. You know what's crazy? I just noticed this. It's crazy how Zangief has a singlet but doesn't even in the picture but doesn't even wrestle with it in the game. But anyway, I just noticed something. I know this may sound old, but I'm gonna point this out. In Mortal Kombat. The final boss was Shang Tsung. In the first, in the very first Mortal Kombat, the very first Street Fighter, Sagat was the final boss. What happens when their appropriate sequels come out? Street Fighter 2 and Mortal Kombat 2. In Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat 2, Shang Tsung was made as a playable character. In Street Fighter 2, Champion Edition, that is, 
Street Fighter, Street Fighter 2 Champion Edition and forward, Sagat was made as a playable character. So what am I trying to tell you? They always have, they demote their bosses from NPCs to playable characters when it comes to the 90s, okay? It was a common thing. By the way, we just dominated Chun Li right there. Look at how sad she is. <laughs> All right, last battle before we face off against the uh, big four. <laughs> Haven't got any super combo finishes yet. Tiger, 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 tiger knee, tiger knee. Mm -hmm. Completely washed. You win. You are not a warrior. You are a beginner. All right, Balrog. USA. Muay Thai kickboxing versus regular boxing. Round one. Fight. To be honest, I think Sagat never truly minded his co-workers. Nor did you really even care for him. But maybe Sagat was still kind of influenced by Bison. I'm making him promise him to make him, make him a champion again. But who knows. And that's the first Super Combo finish of the video. And we're six, we're already almost seven minutes in. Alright, Vega the jumper. The fact that this is a cage environment only makes it harder for you to escape me. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, another broken character is Vanilla SF4 Sagat. But we'll talk about that once we play Street Fighter 4. Oh man. I am the one true champion. It's time you learned your place. Yeah, say this to, the, to your clone here, Sagat, after you win. Oh, okay. Hit me with the uh, SVC Chaos Colors. Sure. Mm -hmm. Get dominated. Get dominated. Get dominated, fake me. I've always been the real Sagat. Take that to the bank, chump. I think people would break the legs regardless because, you know, Sagat is a swollen up over seven feet, three inches tall dude. Seven two dude. And we get to fight a Kuba. Let's go. Alright, we redeemed ourselves last time with Bar. Let's see if we can get a 2 0 start against with Sagat. Okay. No, I'm already busy. Oh my god. I'm gonna just bam fire boss. Let's go! Still couldn't beat me. Zoning for the win, bro. When you have Sagat, you gotta zone. One week later in Thailand. Now that the tournament is over, I see now how blind I had become. I was so obsessed with Secret Revenge against Ryu for inflicting the scar upon me that I allowed rage and hate to fuel my desire to fight. I forgot that the honor of fighting against worthy opponents and punish pushing one's mind and body to their limits are all the motivation a true champion needs. Aware of my past folly, I will train and continue to become stronger, not for revenge, but to better myself. We will meet again, Ryu, and it will truly be the greatest match in history. That I can attest to. <laughs> Pushing the one against one's limits. Because post SF2, Sagat is done with Shadowloo. Done. He was sick of Bison's manipulation. And we just got evidence of that. But anyway, that's it, guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and a comment and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you know where I upload. And I'll see you all next time for some more uh, Let's Play Ultra Street Fighter 2. We play as the Demon King himself, Akuma. Till then, take care of y'all. Deuces.